Hey, my name is Garrett, and welcome to episode 48 of the first Step. I am making a game called Space Prevention Force, a tycoon game where you build, research, and market the most lively business possible to save human lives. This is a devlog of the development of my game, my karate training, and my career as a game developer. Commander, are we ready to go? Yes, sir. Then let's have some fun. Update one. The speakers. No, not, not those kind of speakers. Public speakers, the new worker. Their job is to go out into the galaxy and talk to aliens directly to save lives. There is a basic implementation of them. You can now hold speaking events. Right now, I just have a placeholder of LifeCon, but there will be more in the future. I'm thinking of structuring it like yearly events or maybe monthly events, uh, similar to what Game Dev Tycoon does with their different game events. I wanna do something like that for the speakers. And you also may see that I do have the room and worker sprites for the psychologist, but I don't have much in terms of functionality. More of that will come later. Training. My karate and tricking training is going well. I actually went to Sky Zone, a trampoline park this week. And good news is I actually fully set my back handspring without looking over my shoulder. But bad news is I didn't always get it that great. Update two. Icon. I made a lot of different icons this week. I, I, I Every UI button now has some sort of icon indicating what it does. I also added individual icons for the galactic, planetary, and universal market, which are now on the stats and marketing screen. And I updated some old icons as well. For example, with the marketing one, I changed it from red to green. So I wanted to keep it kind of consistent where the marketers and the marketing room and workers are green and I wanted to associate the icon with that color as well. Same for the research. Blue research is blue room and a blue icon. I think it'll just make it a little bit more pleasing to the eye and connect the game a little bit better. In general, I worked a lot with sprites in the sprite editor this week, but making icons was the biggest thing. Product overview. I have spent 530 minutes on art, 1,880 minutes on programming, 60 minutes on animation, and zero minutes on sound up until this point. And here is the timeline of the game development cycle for Space Prevention Force. Update 3. Refactor. This was actually one of the first things I did this week, but it's probably the least interesting, so I'm putting it last. I said in one of my previous devlogs that when I was doing the marketing manager, I copied a lot of code from the research manager. And when I started making the speaking manager, I did the same thing and copied all that code. And well, that's bad. To keep things cleaner and make them easier in the long run, I made a base manager class, which has a bunch of basic functions that all the different managers use, like activating the UI, calculating the times for completion, and getting the number of workers. I rewrote my research, marketing, and speaker managers, so now they inherit from the base manager and I add on any additional functionality as needed. This resulted in my code being a heck of a lot cleaner and it'll be much easier to add more stuff in the future. Question. The holiday season is coming to a close, so I want to know how were your holidays. Also, I want to shout out a few of my game dev friends who have hit big milestones in their projects. Mathis, or Island Games, has released a demo and updated Technotopia. Metabulous and his team at Head Tilt have released a demo for millions of minions. And Sam Hogan did a round of alpha testing for his game, Teach Physics. I will leave links to all of them in the description because they are all doing really cool stuff. Thank you all so much for watching episode 48. I am so glad that you guys are watching and are sticking until the end. I just want to make sure that you guys are doing well because your well-being is very important to me because you guys support me and I want to support you as well. So if you need anything at all, if you just want to talk, if you need any sort of help, please come talk to me if you need it. I will leave a link to my Discord friend request. If you want to contact me there, that's probably the best place. I just want to make sure that you guys are okay. I just want to reach out and all for that. So on that, thank you all for watching. I love all of you, and I will see you in the next devlog. Bye, everyone. Bye.